people who hoarded gas two weeks ago, how are things going for you now? One of my deadbeat neighbors decided that they were going to buy two 250-gallon pump tanks and weld them into the bed of their old ass T100. They then proceeded to fill them up at their local Costco. They then decided it would be a smart idea to put a sign on their truck with outrageous price gossing level prices and post up in a parking lot in a fairly bad area of town. He was held up in a matter of minutes. Truck and gas stolen. This was in Southern California. Where there is absolutely zero risk of a gas shortage. Tired of every meal, gas gumbo, gas casserole, gas and dumplings, sweet and sour gas, gas au gratin, gas marinara, gas vindaloo, ready for something different. To know what to do with all this unused fuel. Maybe use it in the gender reveal I'm planning for this weekend. Congrats, it's a diesel. You're not gonna get any real answers. You gotta go on Facebook to even get close. This is the only pertinent answer here. You guys underestimate the ability of stupid to exist everywhere. Not me but one of neighbors on the My Neighbors app asked for help moving a plastic barrel he filled with gas, I didn't respond but that post showed up again because of the activity on the post. Man couldn't find help so he did his sensible thing and rolled the barrel off his truck, the top popped up and he spilled a bunch of gas onto his lawn. Edit 1, to address the biggest conern, I'm assuming the post had been taken down likely because someone mentioned the fines. I scrolled and scrolled last night after making this comment and couldn't find the post, I wanted screenshots. At the time I laughed a bit at the situation, but didn't think there would be a hazmat issue, I do not recall the name of the neighbor but I might remember the biopic, if he posts again I'll message him. Edit 2, after reading more and more of the comments I now have a genuine concern, I don't believe anyone here uses well water, I know it wasn't someone in my street but I'll drive around this weekend, garage sales, and if I happen to notice that someone's yard is dead I'll stop by and see if I smell gas and make the call. That's a huge fine. It can ruin the groundwater, soil, and potentially your drinking water. There was a small spike in car fires along the interstate where I lived during the time when people were hoarding, can't say for certain if the events are related, but the timing was sure on point. There were several news stories of people dying in fiery crashes garages burning down I don't have links at the moment. Just from memory. People just don't think. I don't have a link to the story, but one I heard was about a lady who filled up a bag with gas and then it leaked out in her car. She went to a nearby gas station to vacuum it out of her car and then it all just kind of blew up in face, yikes. Why would you vacuum gas? I don't know if this would work but my first thought would be baking soda or something. Or pour water on your carpet to dilute the gas and then try to soak it up. Just soak it up with a hoarded toilet paper. I have a shameful feeling the toilet paper trend was started here in Aus as the first western country to catch on to the stupidity. I put my gasoline in styrofoam coolers. Now I have napalm. When? Smells great in the morning, I hear. Cute ride of the Valkyries at it, confused ride for flight. Thanks God below me. My truck got stolen three weeks ago so thankfully all of this went in one ear and right out the other. A small pro. Gotta look at the bright side. Edit, people, people, stop with the awards. Save your money and invest in a kill switch for your vehicle. Lol. That is quite literally the most optimistic take on car theft I have ever encountered. I am amazed. 8. Till gas has a shelf life. According to Statoil, diesel can be stored for years under the right conditions. If you don't get those conditions right, you'll end up growing something called diesel bugs. Fuel companies agree that if left untreated fuel will remain reliable for just 612 months. That diesel bugs link was incredibly disappointing. I imagine some trilobite that lives off diesel and looks like a slater beetle, or possibly a millipede. But no, it's just a fungus. These are all joke answers, so here's a serious one. My neighbors hoarded at least three gas cans worth, I say at least because I only saw him unpacking the last three when I got home, he knocked on my door today and offered to sell me one gallon for a buck fifty, but I rejected. Last I saw he was lugging it to a friend's house. At least he had sense to use the right container. Yeah I'll give him that. I only got enough for me and my six jeeps, thank you very much. I didn't drive since going to the gas station. 
you must be a billionaire to be able to afford to buy and fuel six Jeep. Think of the extra lights, bumper sticks, custom paint jobs, the accessories, etc. I think you misunderstand, all Jeep owners require at least six Jeeps to ensure they have at least one working Jeep at any time. Similar to how one buys Jaguars in pairs as one will always be in the shop. My granddad's hobby was fixing up old Jaguars, selling them, taking my granny on vacation as an apology, and then starting the cycle over again. I don't know if that's or an addiction or enabling, or both. After he died, it is nice going to local car shows and seeing his cars. His driving around car was a Ford Mustang, automatic so my granny could drive it. That's very cool to be able to see your family's legacy so prominently. But as a car guy, there's something to be said about a mechanic who works on Jaguars and drives a Mustang. I think he must know something Jaguar owners do not, haha. I think he must know something Jaguar owners do not the feeling of moving forwards via internal combustion. Jag owners know what that feels like just fine nobody makes an electric tow truck yet. There was one woman who was using a stolen car to hoard gas and when a state police officer tried to pull her over she ended up flipping the car and the gas ignited inside the vehicle. Yes, happened to a woman in SC. She was reported to be on fire when she exited the vehicle, deputies reported. I work from home, didn't even realize there was a gas shortage. Not sure if there really was a shortage, like I think it depends on location, from what I hear back east there was but where I was at. Nothing really changed except slightly more expensive gas prices. It was the southeast. The pipeline or something got hacked and they had to do a full shutdown if I recall. By the time it hit the major news outlets and people started hoarding systems were back up and ready to go and it would just be a few days to get everybody back to normal. My dumbass coworker was even talking about how thinking of hoarding to resell and how we're running out of gas. And we're up here in Alaska. Can't really fix stupid though. Funny enough, the first place I heard about the potential for a has shortage was on restocks within a couple hours of it happening and how it might affect stocks. From very little is it's just a few days to possibly disastrous if it lasts for weeks. 50% of them died out of home, from inhaling the gas they stored in bags. Nobody sourced this. I want to believe it. I don't know about that claim but there was a Hummer carrying a bunch of gas cans that blew up on Ridiot sink cars. I've heard of people pouring gas into the broken, carburetor of their van from a paper cup as they drive. It's a wonder you don't see more explosions. Straight up old redneck checking in. You can get a 454 to run with a jerry can on the roof and a syringe neck down on the end of the hose slowing the pour into the manifold. Carbs are more about air control than fuel when you're not tuning for max HP but simply moving. Grew up in Redneckville, USA. I've seen this exact trick. Complete with manual, fishing line, windshield wipers. Nice old Chevy that dude had no money to get fixed up. We'll see who laughs when the oil crisis finally hits. Not me and my 20 grocery bags full of gas, I'll bet. I filled up a couple moving boxes with gas, pros, now I have plenty of gas, cons now my car smells like gas. Not sure why. I filled up my car. Like, the insides. They're too busy scrubbing their trunk's carpet after all their bags leaked. Good luck getting that smell out. Fire will get it out. Well, mostly. Just use the gas to help my neighbor burn his house down for insurance purposes. That reminds me, thanks once again for helping me set the old homestead ablaze. I will give you the 10% we agreed on from the insurance payout. Swimmingly. This is the most concerning response.